40 crore kilometers is a long way to travel in space. In fact, it is one of the longest distances in space that mankind has ever attempted to traverse. And ISRO scientists have set out today to go where few have gone before. Among the mission objectives of India's mission to Mars are design and realization of a Mars orbiter with the capability to survive and perform earthbound maneuvers. This orbiter would have a cruise phase of 300 days, be capable of Mars orbit insertion and capture, and be able to sustain an on-orbit phase around the Red Planet. To support the Mars mission, technology had to be developed in crucial support areas like deep space communication, deep space navigation, mission planning and management, and the ISRO team also had to incorporate autonomous features to handle contingency situations. But all of this was only to get the Mars orbiter all the way from the Earth's surface and into a stable orbit around the Red Planet. Only once there would the real scientific objectives begin, such as exploration of Mars' surface features, exploration of the planet's morphology and mineralogy, assessment of the Martian atmosphere by indigenous scientific instruments, and hopefully getting closer to answering the question of whether life existed on Mars. A comment from some friends of mine saying that I don't understand why Indians are shouting about the 500 crores or 450 crores spent on this. It's certainly the biggest day for the whole of India, which India can be proud of. And, and these Indians have no difficulty in spending 10 times that, 5,000 crores, in Diwali crackers in one day, which don't get up more than 10 feet. But for going all the way to Mars, at one tenth the cost, why are they shouting? I thought it was a very nice statement to make. And at just about 450 crore rupees, ISRO has set yet another benchmark for the entire world, showing how indigenization and frugality can get you a long, long way, even across space. Bureau Report, DD News.